everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know you guys today. We are going to be going over my 2023 luxury bag wish list. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot. But if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I'm going to ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like. And be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get into the video. Hello! As you can see, my setup is a bit different. If you have been following me on Instagram, which you totally should do, me and my husband just moved into a house. So this is my office right now. I have an office, you guys. I didn't have an office in my uh, previous apartment. I just want to apologize for the lack of background. And also, I want to apologize if there's any kind of echo. Let's just get into it. My bags on my wish list of 2023. I have quite a few. I honestly think it would be a win if I got even one of these bags on my wish list this year. I'm really trying to make 2023 the year of savings because we did, again, just move into a house. You know, last year I went absolutely nuts with buying bags. This year is gonna be a bit different. It's gonna be the year of savings, the year of gratitude. I'm gonna start from number nine. I have nine bags on this list. I should have just made it like an even 10, but I didn't, I have nine. And then the last like three or four are gonna be the ones that I like really, really, really want. Number nine, I have the Gucci denim tote bag. I normally do not like denim at all. I'm not a denim bag person. It's never been for me. I'm more of a classic, simple, clean lines kind of person. Whenever I see a denim bag, I'm like, mm, that's a little like too, two 2000s for me. This Gucci tote is the only bag that's ever made me go, oh, I love that, I love this. I'm not even sure if it's being made anymore. I know that Minx For All has one of these and she is the only person that I've ever seen actually have one of these totes and she's the one that made me wanna get one of these totes because they just look so nice. I don't know what it is, like the color of the denim. I love the contrast with the denim and like that brown leather on the top of the bag. I just think this bag is stunning. I don't have a tote bag anymore and me and Raf are planning on going back to Italy sometime this year, probably in the very late summer, early fall. So I will need to get a tote bag before we go back over there. Number eight is going to be this Fendi bag. This is the Fendi baguette and it is in the beautiful turquoise color. I do love this bag. I love a good colored bag every now and then. I do have a green Chanel and I have a green Bottega Veneta mini Jody bag. I really want a Fendi baguette really badly. I, either in just the regular print, like the basic Fendi baguette, uh, FF Fendi print, um, or one of the leather ones. I haven't decided yet, but this turquoise color really just caught my eye. And I just think it's really pretty. It's very summery. This would look amazing in like Capri <laughs> or in Mykonos or any kind of beachy setting, it would just look so pretty. If I find this bag in America or in Italy, if I just find this bag in general anywhere, I don't know, I might have to get it. It's just so, so cute. I love the leather on these. It's just such good quality. Fendi has always had good quality in my opinion. I would love to also get a Fendi first, but like, I don't, where am I gonna go for a Fendi first? I would rather probably get a Fendi baguette. I think that's really, really nice. Did I say number eight before? I hope so. Number seven is going to be only if I can get it for a good price. It's gonna be another Chanel bag. Chanel, small or medium, preferably medium, classic flap in either white or like a beige color. I would like to add another classic flap into my collection. Absolutely not a new one because I can't be out here paying nine, 10 grand for a new Chanel bag, absolutely not. But if I can find one on the pre-loved market that's a nice vintage, those ones usually run between, depending on the quality, like if they're still in really good condition, we're usually in like the 3,000, 4,000 mark, which is definitely a lot better than 10. I would love to get a white one or like an ivory if that's an option in vintage, I have no idea, or a beige, that would be really nice as well. Anything in that kind of color story, I would love to add that to my collection because I love classic flaps. I just think they're beautiful. But Chanel right now is just absolutely stupid with 
you know the price of their bags and they're just not worth it new anymore so i will definitely continue to be searching on the pre-loved market but i would love to add another classic flap into my collection if i can if i were to get another classic flap it would have to be with gold hardware and i would probably honestly want to go with a medium instead of a small i have a small black classic flap um, but it just really doesn't fit much at all it doesn't fit a lot the medium fits a lot more than the small i feel like it's just worth it more than the smalls if you know what i mean number six i have this on my list because i saw it and i thought it was really cute i don't know if i'm gonna get this because i liked it a lot when i first saw it and then the hype has kind of died down for me but that is the loewe amazonia cube bag i think this is really really cute and i really liked the look of it when i first saw it i thought that it was the cutest thing i've ever seen in my life i still do think it's really cute but i think the novelty has kind of worn off a little bit for me and i do have other bags on this list that i would definitely like a lot more over this loewe one i do love loewe and i think that 2023 is going to be a really good year for loewe in general but maybe not this bag it's still on this list list in case if I found it on like the pre-love market for a really good price or something maybe but I'm not gonna go to any Loewe store or try to be actively hunting for it as of right now it's still very cute but I just don't know if it's for me anymore number five is definitely gonna be one that might be a shock to some people because I did make a video saying <laughs> how much I hated this bag. Not like a dedicated video, but there was a video that I made last year. It was like at the beginning of last year uh, when I was first starting my luxury kind of content. I made a video with bags that I would never buy and the Chanel boy bag was in that video. Now, the only Chanel boy bag that I would ever consider buying would be a black with gold hardware small one. Like, like the small, like the new small. I think it's the cutest thing and oh my God, it's the cutest thing I ever did see. It's such a cute little bag. I love the way it looks. It is so like eek and eek. I just love it. <laughs> I don't know why. And I would love to add one of those to my collection and have like a different Chanel type of bag. Also a Chanel 19, if I could do that. I love the Chanel 19, a small one. I don't want a medium or anything like that. Same with the boy bag. I don't want a medium. I want a small one because they're just really cute. For the Chanel boy bag, it has to be black and gold. I don't even know which one I would prefer, a Chanel boy bag or a Chanel 19. I actually don't know. They're both really really nice but i do have the chanel boy bag on my list because that particular one is just really really cute so that one is definitely on my radar and if i see it on the pre-loved market and i will definitely get it number four we're getting into some bags that i really want the ysl black hobo bag but the ysl hobo bags are so so cute i love the look of them i love the vibe they're very classic they're very timeless and stylish so i really really like that kind of look to them and i could do a white a black maybe a kind of beigey camel color those are my vibes for this bag i just think it is so cute i like it a lot i don't think it's gonna fit very much i don't know i'm just really really into this look this style of bag when i first saw it some of these bags just grow on me when i first saw it i was like oh okay like i didn't really care that much i didn't it didn't do anything for me i didn't care but it has grown on me significantly and I really, really like it. And I feel like this would be just a cute bag if you were to do anything. And it's not too flashy. You do have that like YSL logo on the front, but it's nothing like too flashy or like, look at me. Um, so I think it has like the perfect amount of designer and kind of simplicity i don't know but i really like it a lot number three on my list is going to be the celine rami bag Ugh, i love this bag so much i really wanted to get it last year but i just couldn't do it um i had already bought way too many things <laughs> so i really want to get it this year i love this bag it looks so classy and timeless i absolutely am 
obsessed with it. I don't know what color I want it in. There's like this nice kind of caramel brown color as well that I love. I do believe it also comes in black, but I really, really want either like that kind of beigey cream color or the brownie. I don't know why I keep doing this the brownie kind of caramel color. It's so beautiful. And there's not much of a logo on there. I do like a good logo now and then. I sometimes don't, It depending on where I'm at. If I'm kind of just like running to Target or to Kroger, I definitely don't want like a big Chanel logo on me or a Dior logo or something. I want something that's a bit more understated. Number two on my list is another Celine bag. I'm really into Celine uh, as of late. I really, really love Celine styles right now and my number two is going to be a celine triumph bag be the shoulder bag one because i like the longer version i like how long it is compared to how square i just kind of like the long look a little better so i do think that i will probably get the longer version of the bag i think it's so pretty and again i would either want it in black or in the celine camel color it's so pretty I'm actually leaning more towards the camel color. I did sell my Mulberry Mini Alexa bag, so I don't have a camel colored or like brown bag anymore. So that one kind of would take its place. So I honestly think I might have just talked myself into getting the brown one. I really, really like that one a lot. My number one is gonna be a Dior saddlebag. I love the Dior saddlebag. I used to like, I. There have been times where I've gone back and forth where I've been like, oh, that's really cool to know it's weird to, oh my God, I love it to know not really. I am now just like on the boat of, I want this bag. I love it. I want it. I need it. It's mine. And again, I haven't decided if I want it like the cream color in the beige or in the black. I have a feeling that the cream color is going to go away like i not go away as in be discontinued but i'm not gonna want the cream color i feel like that one's gonna be the easiest one for me to be like nah that dior kind of camel color and the black i really really like i'm not sure which one i would probably have to see them both in person and maybe the dior saddlebag would be the one that i would want to get in italy when we go back but the thing is that i don't know when we're gonna go back so i might get this before italy i might not i have no idea honestly what's gonna happen this year but i really 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 want the dior saddlebag it's the next bag on my wish list just my number one. I just feel like it is such a classic bag. It's not going out of style anymore. I just feel like it's just always going to be Dior's like number two style. And I still think that the Lady Dior is the number one style from the Christian Dior fashion house. I think that the saddle bag is number two and then the bobby bag is number three. I don't love the bobby bag. I love the saddle bag. But you guys, that has been my 2023 luxury bag wish list. Let me know in the comments if there are anything on your list that's also on my list. Let me know what you thought of my list. Let me know in general, like if there's anything that you're wanting to get this year. It doesn't have to be bags. It doesn't have to be luxury. It could be literally anything. Just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you have an amazing, beautiful 2023 and I will see you in the next video. Bye!